okay hi guys um i'm back again with another dish i just completed a binge on um asparagus i think we have about four dishes on asparagus and um those are coming up as a series and um the i told you guys that the the the, the strippings and the leftovers that were left off um, of the, the, the things that we use, the, the ingredients, we were not going to throw them out. And so we have a whole bunch of um, scraps and pieces of the asparagus here. And I'm not using my usual camera, I'm using another one, so I want to make sure you can see. And so these are the scraps and pieces that were left, even a piece of red onion. And I told you not to throw them out because I'm going to show you right now how you can use everything to make another healthy delicious dish and um this one is going to be just asparagus vegetable throw in mixed up kind of dish we're going to use everything to make a, soup, a broth or a soup okay so here we go um i'm going to use a lot of vegetables i don't have the other squash and so I'm going to use the red one and I've already started cutting it. Hopefully you can see me. I'm going to cut this very thinly and we're going to pour in all of our vegetables in um, the pot and just let it saute to get the flavor out. We're going to use a lot of olive oil and the olive oil is going to give it that Mediterranean kind of flavor. So we're just going to pour in a lot of olive oil and um, the red squash we don't take the skin off so the skin is still on hopefully you can see let me just take a glance but at you know at the back of my camera to see what's happening here and i'm going to start a little music here for us so while that's going let me see what's going down at the back of my camera yeah we're fair and beautiful as you can see all right so we continue so everything that we got out of that pot, we're going to be used. So the squash is ready. I'm going to take it to the counter and I'm just going to pour that into this big container. Because everything is going to go to the, to the, to the stove. And um, we have some leftover um, shallot onion and we're just going to cut them in four pieces. That's going to go also. Just going to pour them in here. We have some leftover corn, we're going to put that in also, everything is going to just cook so we can get the flavor out. And we have some red cabbage, we just cut them into pieces and we're going to pour that in also. Um, we have some um, carrots, which we do not use in the first dish, but it's going to be important for this vegetable dish. And so we're going to cut them up. And I'm going to show you, and very thinly, so they can, the flavor can permeate out of, so just be careful with the knife, if you're not good with the knife, the knife like myself, just be careful, so you're just going to cut these, and I'm going to speed up as much as possible, because this is not a long dish, it should only take you 20 minutes to complete, so we're going to cut these, um, carrots into small pieces really quickly and all of these are going to go in the pot all at once with the olive oil and um, we're just going to cook until all the flavor is out of these vegetables and they're tender and then we're going to progress from there the squash everything is over there and um, we're going to get some baby pak choy we're going to cut them very small so all the juice can be cooked out of these. We're going to pour the leaves in last. Okay, so we're just going to use the greens, the, the, the lighter green part of the stem. That's going to go in first. And the leaves are going to go in second. Because so those are tender. And we want to still make sure that our dish is 
So we're going to use some celery. These are pieces of the celery and we're going to use the everything. Okay, that we can possibly use. I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to use some of the tender leaves. This is going to be a very rustic soup. So um, we're going to make sure they are chunky. So we're going to put some over there. I'm going to put some in the pot right now. Alright, so you can see we're progressing very nicely. So we're going to put some mint from my garden. So we're going to put all the vegetables over here. In this container here. Those are going to go in sequine chili. So I'm going to put in that there for the one that the cabbage and the carrot and the squash. We're going to go in first. Follow by the vegetables and we're going to stir them into the olive oil. Now we have pieces from the asparagus and we're going to cut them up. Very small. So we're not going to throw away anything at all. And so those will be going into the pot also. So you want to cut them. These are tender, they're not hard to cook. But we want to make sure we utilize everything. And it starts smelling so beautiful already with the different ingredients. And these are just the harder part of the asparagus that we cut off. That's Stick a part, that's what we're going to be using. And then we had some green onion left over, which I just froze. That's going to go into pieces of onion. That's going to take off the bad part, and we use up everything. And this was garlic that we had left over, but we had the garlic ready. We're going to use some celery. And I just chunk this up. Those are going to go into. I'm going to do some mushroom. And I'm just going to cut them down. Like so. And we're going to wash them. I'm going to cut them again. So these are just our mushroom. That we're going to put in. I'm going to cut them again. I'm going to cut them again. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to wash these and we're going to put these in sequentially. Of course, because if you put them in too early, you're going to lose them. They're going to all become squishy and miserable. I'm going to wash these. Be using. It's called vegetarian noodles. Mi choy la bodhi. I'm going to use this one. Okay, so there's no lie to use it. And we're going to also use some shell pasta. And we're going to use some dumplings, okay? 
I'm going to put some beans in also. I'm just going to mix them. Make sure those strings are gone. I'm using this one here. But we're going to drizzle as we go. So this is as much as we have in. And so this in here are the little pieces of um, chicken that we used to wrap our um, our vegetable that we did earlier so we're gonna use those pieces of leftover chicken and um, we had some onion that we stripped we're gonna put that in also with that we're gonna turn on our stove make sure the stove is medium heat medium to medium heat very important so we can turn this down as low as possible because what we want to do is to pour in the vegetables and let them saute to get the flavors out you know so um, that's exactly what we're going to do so we have our chicken um, bits and pieces of chicken from the asparagus um, wrap and now we're going to pour in our carrot okay and just gonna put that in so the flavor can start permeating. And we're gonna pour in our yellow squash. Gonna pour in our um, onion, yellow, um, Charlotte, Charlotte's onion, sorry. That's a Charlotte onion. And we're going to put in our cabbage. We're going to put in our corn. And all of that is in the olive oil. I'm going to show you guys. Now. Now we're going to put in our salt and pepper. We put a little paprika in also to give it a little kick. For those who can take it. We're going to use some chicken broth as we further go along. I'm gonna stir in my garlic so all the flavor can come out at the same time out of all the vegetables and make this so beautiful. So everything is going right there now. And we are waiting to add the other vegetables. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's you're just going to leave it and it's going to saute. Okay. Okay guys, so we're well on our way and now we're going to pour in some, a little chicken broth, just a little. To make sure it's not just the oil that is there going, laboring, but we're also getting, this is what it looks like. Now at the halfway through the heart of vegetable, vegetables and those are cooking out those flavors we're going to pour in the other vegetables that are softer and so 
everything is gonna cook now and permeate so we're putting in all of her all the vegetables and everything is just gonna cook and we're gonna get the um, flavors of everything working together and um, all of that nice juice out of all the, the vegetables are seeping through and um, Gonna, the, the olive oil there is going to give it that Mediterranean kind of taste so yeah we're going to put some black pepper in now we put a little cayenne pepper in but now the black pepper we need to put in so let me show you up close what it looks like okay We're just gonna let it continue cook it slow cooking over medium heat I just want you guys to see all right so the other set of vegetables we're gonna put in because these are easier mushroom and the snow peas sweet peas and those are easier to cook so at this time we're gonna pour those in and we're gonna cover it again and let it slow cook okay mushroom is in the snow peas are in and it's going to continue cooking all right we're going to cover this and let the juice of everything just keep seeping out of these vegetables into our soup all right so what we could do okay guys so that's what it's looking like now and now I think it's just about time to put the water. So we're gonna pour some water in. We're gonna make sure we pour filtered water. Very important. I'm gonna be reviewing my new wave oven and my filtered water system and my ninja coffee maker in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna pour two cups of water in. We're going to continue to boil, we're going to give it a quick stir and then we're going to let it boil a little bit before we start adding the rest of the ingredients. Just trying to get my hands clean. Okay guys, so this is where we are right now. And so we're going to put in all the other ingredients. We're going to put in the dumplings, dough, we're going to put in the shells, and we're going to put in the um, noodles, okay? So that's where we are right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the dumplings. Hopefully you'll be, you'll be able to see what I'm doing, because I don't have a camera operator. Just rubbing them together like so and then I'm gonna open them make them into a ball then spread them out like that and put them in okay guys so this is the noodle and the shells and we're gonna put them in so what the noodle looks like i'm gonna put in the shells also okay. if you're looking for a broth what you want to put is just the vegetables and the chicken broth and you will have just a broth and you have to put more water. But I was not looking for a broth, I'm looking for a soup. And let me clean this up a little, hopefully. 
you can see it. And we're going to put some cilantro. And we're going to put some celery. And this is the soup. Guys, that's the soup right there. Hopefully you can see. That's our soup right there. <laughs> it is so beautiful. And I'm hoping it is tasty. And this is not, again, this is not a broth. This is a soup. Okay. And we're going to take the taste. Okay. And see how this is. So, guys, here we go. Hopefully, you can see. I'm going to take that first taste. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Thick. Flavorful and nice. Yeah, so that's our soup right there. Mmm. This is really good. I'll take another one because it is so good. Mmm. Wow. It's really a good soup. So I was really glad that I decided to keep the scraps and pieces of the previous dishes and then I freeze them and at a more convenient time I made a lovely soup from that and that's exactly what you want to do going forward don't throw away your um, scraps and pieces you want to retain them to make a soup or a broth okay and that was my intention and it was achieved so again on behalf of men and myself from our home to your home we just want to say thank you for stopping by and we're going to give you a challenge we want you to go out there and try this dish okay with all the scraps and pieces that you have and then you're going to come back here and you're going to leave a review and a comment as to how your dish came out. Was it good? Was it tasty? How was it? We want to hear. Again, so until then, happy, healthy eating. Open, you'll check back here. And on your way out, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button right of the subscribe, bu subscribe button and you will be notified again when we do another video so until then thank you for stopping by and again on your way out don't forget to subscribe and we're gonna go close up so you can get another view of our dish okay what we did here I'm going to make our camera a little bit sharper. There you go. You can see the big, the big detail of that yellow, that um, purple cabbage. And I love that. I'm going to, I can't wait to have this meal. And I'm hoping yours will come out just as equally beautiful. Until then, on behalf of men and myself, ta-ta and see you soon. Alright, you take care. Ta-ta.